Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia, and I make all types of planner related videos. So today I thought I would give you guys an update on my first quarter in my planning system. This was my original planning system. If you guys have watched that video, if not, I will link that in the cards up above as well as put it in the description box down below. So my planning system has stayed pretty consistent. There has been a couple of changes. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So I have changed some covers. So let's start with that. So I am still using my A5 planner for doing my budget. I am no longer in this planner cover. I am actually in this new cover right here that I got. I bought it off of a friend on Instagram and I'm really enjoying this cover. The change that I have made with this is that it is not just a finance planner anymore. It is actually a home management planner. Now in the past it hasn't worked out for me and the reason for it was I would keep putting schedule stuff in here and just putting schedule thing like scheduling in more than one planner just never works out for me. So instead I have just put, you know, reference stuff in here. So I have my home, my family health, my finances, my meal ideas, contacts, and note paper. So if you guys are interested, I will do a flip of this. Just let me know um, in the description, in the comments down below, and I would be happy to do that. But for the most part, this has stayed the same. I just kind of added more to it, but I still use the A5 as my finance planner. So the next thing that I think I mentioned in my last, in my uh, lineup is I was wanting to learn Korean and I put it in this A5 and I am using it. I am currently taking a little break from it just because it's been a rough few months just trying to do lessons on top of my daughter's virtual school and just things keep coming up. So I am taking a little break, but I am still using this book for my lessons and it has been working out just fine. The next planner that I mentioned in my last lineup is my personal rings. I use this for my daughter's homeschool. I am currently not in this cover. Instead, I am currently in my Cherry Blossom Foxy Fix planner. And I have just been changing my planner out every month. I have a lot of personal size planners and one, I don't want them to just sit on the shelf, and two, it just kind of gives me a little bit of something fun to look at while I am teaching my daughter. But it just has her um, months and weekly school stuff, as well as like any tests and assignments that she has going on. So this has been serving me very well and I do not plan to switch out of my personal size for my daughter's virtual learning. The next planner that I will be showing you is my bullet journal. So this was a last minute thing that I added in my lineup. I think I filmed it separately when I did the set up for my bullet journal which I will also link in the cards above but I really enjoyed having this bullet journal I will do a flip of it completely in another video as well as the March flip if you guys want both of those just let me know but I really loved using this a5 bullet journal and it is so satisfying just to fill a notebook up so I did enjoy that um, I did originally plan on doing another bullet journal which was my Leutsch term which I have in this Sojourner cover and I had it set up I do have the video on that again we'll also link that 
but I was kind of craving my standard TN. I don't know if it was because everybody, I kept seeing like a whole bunch of people using one or if I just wanted a change up because I do tend to like changing things up. So I did end up switching back into my Julio, and I am using a Stology cut in half and I have been loving it. I might switch back to my A5 in, let's see if this closes. Yes. Um, so I might switch back into my A5 in May. I haven't fully decided, but this has been a nice little change because I do tend to get bored and want to switch things up, but my system is still the same as it is was in my A5 bullet journal. So there is that. The next planner I mentioned in my lineup is my standard TN for memory keeping and journaling. Now, I was doing this for, I want to say, up until February, so it really didn't last long, but I just kind of just became a chore after a little while, like the decorating and trying to journal every day. And the days that I didn't journal, I kind of felt bad because I also lost the memory keeping part of it. And I just slowly transitioned into writing a little bit about my day in my bullet journal and a little bit of journaling as well which I really did enjoy. However, I also wanted to try a um, Hobonichi Cousin. And I love it, I really do. I miss stickering and doing all this. The only thing is that it started becoming just like how my standard TN was. It started becoming a chore. Um, I would write a couple things. It's kind of private, so I can't show you guys too much. I would write a couple things in my dailies, and I would do like a sticker a day for my monthlies, and I did like my weekly um, memory keeping. And it's a lot of fun. It's just having the time to do it. It's I just can't seem to put a lot of effort into my other planning systems lately, if that makes any sense. Um, mostly my, my bullet journal and has been like the go-to that I've been sticking to consistently. Everything else has just kind of fell by the wayside. So I'm hoping to get back into this. I did get the half year, I forgot what that's called, but <laughs> I hope I can get back into this because it was really fun and I'm sure I would love looking back at this as the years go on. So I will continue to try to work on this. The other thing I've also been doing with the journaling is I have been doing a pocket size. This is in a um, Pelly Studio and I have a Lloyd's term in here. This is private deep thought journaling. I don't pick it up all the time. I just kind of pick it up when I really want to write something that I just want to kind of get off my chest. I really love how tiny this is and how portable this is. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this in my lineup. I think I'm just gonna hold on to it and just use it as I feel like it. I do kind of want to start journaling in here more and less in here so that way I have everything together but we'll see so there is that the last thing I mentioned is my witch term bullet journal which is supposed to be like my collections I was using it as collections for a while like I have my goals and I have just like kind of like brain dump and all that stuff in here I'm starting to get away from it a little bit just because I did make that home management planner which has everything that's in here and I the one thing I didn't like was that I couldn't move pages around and if I messed up I'd have to either try to fix it or just scrap it and then it just kind of got jumbled and it just didn't, doesn't work for me, so I might just figure out a new way of using this so that I can still enjoy this planner 
because my friend did give it to me and I don't want it to go to waste. So that is that. This is my current planner lineup. I really have been enjoying this system so far and I'm hoping to kind of get more into a few of these planners just because I think I will enjoy it in the long run, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I will give you guys another update when quarter three comes around, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions or questions, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys in another video. Bye.